Gonna be a good episode. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's I can look. I can, good I, today. I, I, I can look through your <laughs> eyes. And got it's going to get. Gonna get got, some people going to be mad when we get to it. <laughs> but hey, I always heard one thing: if you tell the truth, you're going to make a lot of people mad. Yeah. And today, it's going to be truthful for at least ten minutes. Yep. Well, it's going to be truthful the whole thing because we're going to show some good horses. Mm -hmm. You're I mean, right good about that. Horses. I got to looking back over old videos. God Almighty. In the years that we've done this, over 20 years, we've had some outstanding horses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have. But before we do that, you've got to do your deal. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB Voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All right, well, welcome back. Jerry, do you know what show stands for? Yeah, I do, but a lot of people out there don't understand what it stands for, but I believe you're going to be able to tell us exactly what it <laughs> well, stands for. Well, that's a fact. It's an acronym for Sound Horses, Honest Judging, Objective Inspections, and went in fairly. Mm -hmm. I, in the last couple of weeks, I've talked to a lot of people, and we've discussed different things. And every one of them boils down to the only part of that that is actually being practiced is the O. And when the when the USDA shows up, the O which is objective inspections 
goes out the window. Which it just, it just shocks me that that's, that happens. But when you look at what <clears throat> our DQPs go through when the yeah. government is there, it's completely different than when they're not there. Yes. These guys are, are trained to inspect horses, and, and they do a good job. They do a real good job. But when the government shows up, things get a little wacky. And, and it, ain't, it ain't just uh, the, BM, the DQP's prop, uh, fault. When you're standing there and you've got a government looking at you and they're threatening to take your job if, if you don't do certain things and they keep going over and over and over, it, you got a, you're under a lot of pressure. Yes. But what really gets me is this. The walking horse industry is not real huge. So most of these horses, they show under multiple HIOs. Yes. Not just show. But this week, they may be up in East Tennessee with where Curtis Pittman's group mm -hmm. is. They may be up in Kentucky where another one is. And the same horses show. And them same horses come to a show event, and even though they passed at these other events, they don't pass at a show event. And to me, what Frank Eichler has done is he has pointed out everything the USDA does to offset what show accomplishes and he puts puts the target on them which that's not right yeah do, do you feel show gives you a hard time during the inspection no i think at this time when this organization come around with the inspection that show took over i think i have just as fair a chance now that i ever had my whole 40 something years of, of showing horses or of whatever, getting of getting in and showing horses and being on the same playing field as everybody else. Well, that, I've, through the years I've watched, and I'm going to tell you, I know we this industry has their faults, but inspecting horses is not one of no. them unless the government is there. I think the inspection, doing they do a, a wonderful job on what they can do and what they got their hands to do with, you know. I think they do a wonderful job on doing that. I do too. And I experience this almost every every weekend that on showing. Well, I know some people gripe about the inspections, but I, I don't because I can see what happens when the government comes in, and that's what I look at. I watch the guys out there at regular shows and how they inspect. I watch. I've gone to Curtis Pittman's shows. He does. Yes, a great he does job. a good job. And but inspections, unless the government's there, is not our problem. We have a problem with judging. We have a problem with, and, and I'm going back to the list that, that of horses that should be excused from the ring. Too many times this year, I've seen horses come in that the judges, if they truly did their job, they would have sent out. And people would say, well, Jerry, you're wrong, you're wrong. Well, no, I'm not. Video doesn't lie. One video is worth a, a million words. But here, here's one of our major problems. We live stream a lot. Yes. Live stream more than, than well, not other industries. A lot of industries do. But when you're watching that gate, you're watching them horses come in. Once that horse comes in and that video is out, there's no reaching out there and bringing it back and saying, whoa, whoa, we, we, we didn't mean for that to go out. It's gone. They've already seen it. The people that are watching that may be recording or whatnot, they've already seen it. And I'm not saying the horses were abused or anything. That's not because if you read the criteria for our horse and what it's supposed to be, it covers head shake, it covers hitching in the back end, it hubs it covers being high in one foot, covers a lot of things. 
if we would only follow our own rules and the judges did their job at the gate and we corrected that part, I think would go a long ways yes. in solving a lot of our problems. But now, that's me. So I'm going to get off that, and we're going to something else. I done made a bunch of people mad. I know I have. Well, you're just telling the truth, Jerry, that's, and I mean, the that's, truth, and the that's, truth. and that's all it is. To me, I think they need to have someone hired to, in the middle of that ring, is when them horses deviate from the gate or bad image or whatever, to they the ones to tell them to, to, to send them out. That's it. That's what, what should be done. And that's all he's looking for. He's not judging those shows. He's not doing that. He is looking for the horse that's deviating from the gate. And he the one is responsible. So when you have a problem, you won't hold the judges responsible, responsible for you. That man, that's his job. You, you take them and send them out. If they're not doing that right there, then they need to go. Now, I've already made people mad. They can email me, <laughs> jerry at whiteahorse.com. Call me, 931-581-4411. I don't care. Truth, truth, facts is facts. Now we're going to go to something else, which I, I, this is what I really like. I love to go watch people start coats and the way they start them and the different way they start them. Yes. And I kind of like the way you do it. Now, Jerry, Jerry Baby does a lot of round pinning when he starts to. But I like the way you do it, especially the way that you teach them to guide. But we're going to go through some round pinning. And this right here, it, you know, it, it's, it's something else. But explain what you're doing here. Well, I'm just teaching that horse. I got that rope behind him, long lining him, teaching him how to turn and um, respond to the pressure of the rope. You know, I break horses for, I don't, I break them to break them. I break them because you don't know if they're going to make a performance horse, a trail riding horse, or whatever. So what I'm trying to do is, if this horse is going and make a good performance horse, great. Yeah. But if he's make a good trail riding horse, that's great. But he's broke. He's broke. Well, and, I want everybody to notice this though, Jerry. There's two ropes there. There's one hooked up to each side of the bridle. Yes. And Jerry's using that to to guide him and teach right. him how to get stuff used to and touch him on his back end and whatever. And I usually do a lot of this because I do a lot of courting to my horses when I get ready to ride them after, when I get to breaking them and stuff like that. And that kind of get them used to something touching them on his back end. I will, and this is called first r ride right here, you know. You can tell it. <laughs> but I mean, with them ropes pulling on him, he's kind of used to somebody pulling on one side and right. kind of got the ideal. Well, I know Jeremy, well, he got up in the saddle and he's ready to go. And don't have no blinders on him where he can see. Yep. And then, you know. That's the main thing. Right now, yep. you want him to see everything. You want him, you want him to notice there's going to be things around him. And I just like to take, his, take my time. And I won't, you know, if that horse don't make a performance horse, I want to be able to pull the shoes off of him, go back, and he can just go do a trail ride. And he That's know how it. to go around something and know how to guide. You wouldn't believe that the horses that's showing today that when you take him out of that pen or you're going to ride him, he don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. He's not broke for anybody to ride. I try to get it where anybody can ride him. That's the way, it's the best way to do it. And, and being around the horses are a lot. I noticed that we did last week, we did you catching one in the, in this, in the stall. But I think the main thing is people need to interact with these coats when they're young. Yes. I can remember going down and picking up three three-year-olds and never had a halter on them. That is, that is no fun. That's no fun. No you're, fun you're at exactly all. I right. was a lot younger. Someone told me to do it today. I'd tell them to take a hike. <laughs> but like this filly right here, this is her first time of riding too, you know. But I mean, right. she's kind of gotten the concept of going around and learning. Well, I hope everybody noticed we changed horses Yes. in this clip. Cause now this one's a filly. This is a filly right here. Right, the other one was a stud. A stud, uh huh. This is Dixie Lyman filly right here. But I mean, she's, but that's her first riding too. And I mean, you see how he turned around and she, you know, kind of understand what you want to do when you pull on. That's what the two ropes help, the long lining. Well, I like that long line. And I think that that's a good thing to do. I like the carding because I think it helps them. 
That coin helps a lot. I mean, it, it, it teaches them a lot. Well, you'd be surprised how many trainers really use the cart. Yes. Jerry Beatty uses it a lot. Dick Peebles People uses use it a tremendous yeah. amount. And those horses learn a lot doing that. Now, last week, we showed different horses in different classes that I thought were good. Well, I, I knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. So I got a call, and I got a request. And now we're going to do it. We're going to show from the fall classic the three-year-old class. Now, this was one that I got a call on a sixth-place horse. But well, we're going to have to uh, go to another. Oh, I know what we're going to do. <laughs> we're getting a heads up that that video uh, wasn't quite ready to go. So we're going to go to Bruce McDonald Horses. Now, what we're trying to do this week, I want to go back to people who have advertised with yes. us, that have stuck with us through the years. And Bruce McDonald and Robin are two, but right here is one of my favorite victory passes of all time. And it has to do with Robin on this job. This, this is one huge horse. I tell you, that's a, that was a talented horse right there. Oh, he, he is a big flat walking, getting it done. 100%. Oh, I had the pleasure of being around that horse when Dick Peebles had it. He's a piece of work now. Yeah. Robin, have, I'm telling you, Robin is, is super around one? the horse. That's a Prime good horse. Poison. Now, they, we're showing different horses yes. that they've had and advertised with us 30 years. I make King of Hearts. That's, remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, Robin, I mean, she was a, a wonderful rider. And she still is. I mean, she, and I think she's gonna get back in that saddle. Here, here's one that she handed off to her. Yes. Up tight, Jose. It's so funny, Robin used to win all the time. Now you see Bruce and her win, winning yep. all the time. Here's Mr. Heisman. Yep. I tell you what, now that's, that's a great horse thing. Now here's Georgia, Florida line. And Bruce, Bruce, yep. Now I think this is the only one that I haven't seen uh, Robin Hunt. I think this time he kind of started showing about that time when that horse came around. Here's Robin again on yeah. Uptight Jose. That horse has won more blue, four world championships. I mean, uh, unreal. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Heisman. I'm not mistaken, that right there. Straight up Mississippi. Yep. Celebration. With all the blue ribbons they didn't want, they can decorate a whole house with them, I guarantee you. But they're two great people. They are. Great horse people. There he is under the lights. Up oh, tight, Jose and Bruce McDonald. Tight, Jose and Bruce McDonald. I'm going to do this and, since I'm going to stop being on the show. I just want to do this and thank you to all of the advertisers that you worked with me for the year. Yes. And Bruce and Robin, they've always been supporters of our industry, both inside the industry and out. Oh, yes, you're right. I tell you what, Mr. Heisman, he's he's Mr. Alderman. Oh yeah, he's a nice horse, good horse, real good horse. I just don't have any classes where they were in there against each other, where Bruce showed against yeah. Robin. <laughs> right here's Cavender. Now, that's a real good horse. Man, that's a horse that you're gonna have to look for in that state class. He's a world grand champion, and I'm gonna tell you. Next year, he's going to be five-year-old. He's going to be hard to beat. Oh, now. yeah. Because he's got, I mean, you watch him. He is timed up. Yes. Head shaking 
he, he is in sync. That horse but, is. That's a nice well, horse, real nice I'm horse. I'm sure that he, he is uh, going to be hard to deal with. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if we're... But let's go to commercial, and we'll see where we're at. How's that? That'll work. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you that's a that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now I tell you got all got a lot of talent, that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. deserves to live a full life and with your help together we can end hunger join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now what's a tennessee vacation it starts off like any road trip and then boom adventure and thrills everywhere you look which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. Welcome back. What we were going to do, is we was going to show the three-year-old class from the classic. Yes. And uh, one particular horse, and that was that classic rock horse, which you had, you had, oh, yeah. you mm -hmm. had talked about how good that horse was. But uh, I got a request to show it, and we were going to show it, but it did not render right, so we're going to have it, but it will be next week's show. But I'm going to tell you, that that was a good oh, class. Oh, that, that was a good class. And that was horse, a good horse. The horse finished place sixth, and a lot of people felt that it was too far down, that yes. it should have been on up towards the top. Mm -hmm. But next week when we show the video, everybody can watch and they can judge themselves. Yes. And I apologize for not having that this week because... I told CJ we wanted to make sure we did, but that's what the high five was for. Yeah, we, we don't want to, we don't want to put anything out there that's going like this, because <laughs> people can't see it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll what we'll do, we'll move on, and talk to, about some other people who have been very uh, supportive of promoting our horse outside the industry and that's what what a horse is about is is i don't know why every week during this horse this, is a real good horse right here yes this right here is mike floyd's horse and right there jenna mighty and when everybody else was talking about well we need maybe need to go on not 
not Mike Floyd. He said, no, I'm sticking with him. And he won his world grand championship. And I tell you, that whole got a bunch of good coats out there, too. He got oh, a bunch Lord. of nice coats out there. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you something else. Jimmy showed me his neck. Blue's Gin. Is unreal how yes. thick that neck is. Here's another one. Boone's Gin. Mike's got a good string of horses. Oh, he got a real good string of horses. And and he's got one of the best trainers in the industry. And yes. Don't believe it, go ask him. That's right. You can ask Mike and Jimmy. They'll both take it. <laughs> he have done a lot of good for Mike, Jimmy have. Oh, done, yeah. yeah. He, he, he trained a lot of his horses. And, I mean, they just keep, he just keep putting them out there. Yeah. And there, and a lot of other people have got these gentlemanly horses. I believe you've got a gentlemanly, don't you? Didn't you have yeah, a gentlemanly? I got a gentlemanly and I got married. I got some marriages and fold to him. I mean, he's got, he got some good coats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Team six boots. Team Amy six Ridge, boots. Columbia, Amy rode Ryder. this one. Yeah. And Columbia, I'm going to tell you. Amy's a good rider. Oh, yes, she is. A real good rider. She's a good cook, too. <laughs> she is a real good rider and can cook. Ooh. When they serve that There's another buffets, one. There's Sam. Sam does a good job on that horse right there. I mean, that horse is good with him. Now, he, he won that. That was in Tunica. Tunica, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike's just a good guy. He is good a real good supporter. guy. He, he's always willing to help sponsor a class. He's always willing to help. Always got a smile on his face. You know, that's a fact. You never see him when he's not smiling. Super, super good guy. And if he likes your horse, he don't even have to be his. He's going to tell you you did a good job and he's going to congratulate you. That's it. He will. He, he's going to do it. He is going to do it. Boone's Gin, Jimmy McConnell, Shelbyville, Tennessee is your rider. Mike Floyd, Columbia, Tennessee is your owner. Number 425, Boone's Gin, Jimmy McConnell, Shelbyville, Tennessee. That's one thing about it. Jimmy teaches a lot of his horses to canter. To yeah, uh -huh. you know, Oh, yeah. I mean, you look up and here he comes with another called State Class. Jimmy McConnell is Mr. State Class. Yeah, that's right. I bet you if you go back and look, he's probably gone out the, up the... I need to look that up and see how many times he's won the stake this That's year. right. Because he's won it a ton of times. Now we're going to go to one that's one of my favorites. Because they, it's a mother-daughter team. Yes. That always, they just, every time you see them, they're smiling, they're mm -hmm. happy, they're yep. ready to go. And they've got a good string of horses. A real good string of and horses. And the daughter, I'm going to tell you now, and we're talking about the Walters, Molly and Taylor Walters. Taylor worked hard learning to canter just so she could canter. Yeah. Play. But right here, she's limitless in Molly Walters for Kelsey Andrews. World Grand Champion. This is one great marriage. A great super marriage, I'll tell you. She's got another good one now. She's, got, she's limitless, but now she's fixed to replace. She's limitless. They're going to have some babies out of her. And I don't blame you. Here's Jose Calloway. And Tyler Walt, I wonder if he's in this relationship. The Calloway's out on my <laughs> I need to call, call and ask yeah. him. Hey, you're related to She's rents in cash in Taylor Walters. I tell you, they got a bunch of good horses. Yeah, no, she's limited. Yeah. Oh, they got some great horses. Really I mean, great. But now there's another that's always willing to help. Here's B.B. King, Jay. B.B. Uh, King, that's big thing. Yeah. Molly does a good job of showing. They That's said, a real they horse said right there. Taylor found her another pony, but she did dark rain. Yeah. 
That's a good one too, buddy. Every time I see that horse, I really like him. I mean, he's a, a head shake. He's always right there. And here's Miss Dixie yeah. Carter. Taylor Walters, their grand jump Mirage, California. That mare, there's a good little mare. Tim and Patty. Molly lets Taylor show a whole lot yeah. more her, but I believe Taylor stays here more than your friend. There's Manny, another. They've got world champion, world grand champion, and Manny is one good horse. Yeah. Everywhere. State champion. There's Mark Watt. Jimmy McCollum. Jimmy McCollum. The Molly Walters family owns the entry of Rancho Mirage, California. I really like that. Yes. Yeah, so Jimmy my McCollum. Mother. Congratulations. <laughs> there she is limitless again. That's how we keep showing them real good. Oh, right yeah. <laughs> hey. They got a selection of good ones now. Hey, I'm telling you, they've got they've got a lineup of horses that are nothing but yes. fine. And I mean fine. There's one right after another. They've got some good ones right now. Oh yeah. That honeybee. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Anytime that you look at what I say, mm -hmm. all I got to do is mention it. Here she is, my honeybee. That's just one good mare. But... Get it done. Here's Mark One, Reserve World Grand Champion. I kind of thought you. you might, you know, he, he could wear them yeah. roses. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to, now we're going to go, hey, here's, here's another one of my favorite people because I like her so much because she just, she sat and talked about horses. A lot of people don't realize she goes back. She, she's been around them horses a Oh, while. yeah. Mm -hmm. But Allison Armstrong, she's got some good ones. I'm Sky Black. And i tell you something about this lady. She wants other people to show her horses and enjoyment as much as she does. From Hickory, North Carolina, Allison Armstrong and I'm She does great. She's a good rider, real good jockey. Big supporter of the industry. Here's me and Pocahontas. Her and Tyler, to my knowledge, best I remember, have never been defeated in the AM program Pro class yeah. mm -hmm. on this marriage. This is a great marriage. That's one thing we're blessed with. Oh, yeah. Outstanding marriage. Some good ones. I got a bunch of good mares here that, that's out there showing now. You know, a, long, a while back, you used to see two or three good ones. I didn't see a lot, but now almost every class you look still, at, you see a good, still a lot of good, good mares now. now. A lot of real good ones. It's a shame they can't be like, uh, you know, mothers of the day. Yeah. Where you eat, they'll lay out for a while and have a baby and they come back to work. <laughs> well, they, they don't do that with this. Now, this guy, Black, yeah. he's been a good one. Allison shows him she's let Allison uh, Bicknell, which yeah. is now Tyler's wife, she's one of them. Oh, yeah. And here, hey, this is one of my favorite right here, old True Little. Mm -hmm. One bad cat. And I do mean one bad cat. There's your world grand champion, yeah. old Troubadour. Son, he can. Cover oh yeah, he's a big horse. Big horse. 
and, and flat get it done. He, he recovered from an injury that yes. was pretty bad. And now he's ready to go again. So that's one that they'll be seeing in the state they, class. Yeah. Twisted with honors. What can I say? She said she liked that horse every time she saw him and she wanted him and she was going to get him. And she did. That's a real nice horse. There's Allison Baltimore. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Allison will put people on her horses. And, and I think she gets a bigger kick out of watching them win than she does. Now this horse here is, I, know, I you, think. You hot on this horse yeah. right here. I think that's a nice horse right there now. Especially for that division. I mean, he, he'll be a hard horse to beat in that class right there, in that division mm -hmm. right there. He's a nice horse. I always seen this horse show through the years, and he made a good show, but now I'm telling you, he's outstanding in that division right there. He, he's ready to get it done. Yeah. It's a good one, buddy. She does a good job. They do it. No, oh, Allison be riding him. Yes. Now she'll get it done. Let me see here. I got some more favorite. I got so many favorite people. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but now these these are these are two that that can cook. Now, to, cause I've seen a I've seen a little clip on Facebook where BB had been back in the kitchen again. Yeah. <laughs> so they they get in there and, and you ate my cookie. Oh, but that I cookie was that yet. You know, but I ate that one cookie and the other one it tastes so good. So I said, well, yeah, I don't yeah, think Jerry yeah, missed I'm, this one right here. I'm gonna eat this one too. <laughs> <laughs> Inception, you remember Inception? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was supposed to be a, a teaching lesson. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's Swain, Batter, Batter, Swain. Yeah. I believe that's a Kentucky horse that came yep. down mm -hmm. here. There's Beth Beasley and Super Bowl MVP. Yep. And that horse got taken away from her. Yep. Big time, too. I mean, BB says, I can ride him. <laughs> There's Inception again. You know, when you look back, when they first started, you know, we had a video of them back when they was in the lead line. Yeah, uh -huh. But these girls, they they have accomplished so much. Oh yeah. Line walking, okay. mm -hmm. B. B. Beasley. I'm gonna tell you that it's amazing watching them grow up well, through the years. That's right. And the horses that they graduate from one to the other to the other. Yeah. That line walking was uh, one of the horses in the tribute for the flag. Yeah. When they had them inside the Cal Sonic, when it was the Cal Sonic, and they did an amazing job here in the flag. Here, quite an honor in Maxine Beasley. <coughs> I tell you what, Jerry. Watching these girls and the way they grew up and how fast they grew, grew up. up. Yeah, you're exactly right. It's just uh, amazing. So Zaro Jr. That's a stud. Yeah. 40, at Woodbury, the They're already Maxine invading the adult. That's right. <laughs> you're exactly right. But you know, you think about it, they won't too far. They won't. They will be in the adult division. Well, they're 16. Yeah. They, Got them driving. Here's I am big enough in Maxine Beasley. I am big enough in Maxine Beasley. You hear them ladies, they would say, oh, we got to worry about this one. We got to worry about that one. They're going to be up here in, the, in our division. 
next year and all this. And then all of a sudden, you don't worry about it. Yeah. There's the Char Queen. Yeah. John Allen Calloway. Country lineman. That's a, another little nice little horse right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm going to tell you, Beth has bought a good line of oh, horses yes. for those girls. We got them out the barn one day. Oh, they yeah. rode slides. Did a great job. Both of them rode. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. It just gets better and better, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got more. I may let you do a lot of the talking on this one. This, Hello. This, this is one of you buddies. Oh, yeah. I like uh, I so, like Mr. Bob he, there. Hey, he, you can't beat Bob. Yeah. Bob. Oh, he's a nice guy. Just I'm a good tell guy. You. Well, go to it. Oh, you, I mean, what else can you say about him? You know, he's got a bunch of good horses. I mean, this man, this man right here is a real good mare. Little two year filly, I mean, she's watched her all year long. And she has been great. Bob sets a real good seat. A king thing. Oh, his nickname is Old Bag of Shavings right there. Bob is a, that's another real nice horse. Some real good ones there. This, oh, around his daughter feels in for. Oh yeah, does a good job. But that King thing horse been a good horse. That's old bags of shavings there. <laughs> you ain't gonna get for no bag of shavings now. That's right. Bob got a good eye for good horses now, young horses. He can pick them out. He made that victory pass ride a bunch of times. This King Pin is a real good horse. He can ride them all different ages, young he and older. He doesn't care. I mean, he's a, he does a good job. He just ready to get her done anytime. And he loves it. That's the biggest thing of it. I mean, he loves oh, he showing loves the industry. Horses. I mean, he loves it. He's always been a big supporter for what we're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. It was a nice coat right here. Yes, it is. Real nice. Spotlight on Jose. Honor in Texas. Well, I know this. I appreciate all of these. Bob has been a huge supporter ever since I started Waterfall. Yes. And this one right here. I liked him the first time I saw him, and I've not stopped yet. You know where your first time, when the first time you have seen this horse? At? Do can you remember? Coat preview. I Coat preview. Oh, at Sugar Creek now, but the Rising Star. Yeah. Over there, when they brought him over there through the Rising Star, at the Coat preview over there. He was good, and he was good. And I always thought when I seen him go through the ring, I said one day this horse he'll be a, a mm -hmm. top horse. Well, he. He sure is, and you, you can't beat him. Bob yeah. does a great job. Oh, he does a good job. Bob's riding. got a good eye for horses. Oh, yeah, he does. He can, a real good he can eye. He go out here and he can find them, and that, that's what matters. You're up. 
We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles along with your coat. Days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Minor ordeal, a major win here in the two year old division, our world grand champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, minor ordeal, 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. Okay, we've got uh, two more for this week, but then next week we've got a bunch more we've got to go through. But we, it wouldn't be right. I have to do Allie Joe. Oh, yeah. You're um, right. Notice I said Allie Joe and not Jake. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the Jacobs family. And right here, Hey, this is one. First time I saw a grown man cry. <laughs> he was, Jake was tore all to pieces. Yes. And right there, Cole Hahn. Big horse and a little lady. When you got Ali Joe, you know, you're going to be known as Ali Joe's dad or Ali Joe's <laughs> mom. You know. Here's I'm Coach Cal. <laughs> They're going to be doing something, I can yeah. tell you that. But now nah, Jake is a that's a good family. I mean that's a really yeah. good family. Hey, you can't beat them. Yeah. They they just good. They're big supporters of the horse show. And if you if you need something done, Jake's always there. Yes. He's always willing to help. Matter of fact, he told me one time, he said, if you need me and you don't call me, you're gonna make me mad. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And and I that that's just the way he is. He wants to support everything that she does. Mr. True Blue. That's I really a, like that I, horse. I right really there. like that horse now. That's a real good horse. He uh, timed up, gets it done. But now Allie Jo, she, she's a horse. Oh, yeah. All right, buy these young ones that get out there and really work and yeah. work hard mm -hmm. at it and wants to do some good. She does. They, they still take her up to uh, Kentucky once yeah. a week for equitation classes. I'm looking forward to her seeing her in that juvenile model class one day. <laughs> She's going to be there. That's what this is all yeah. about. Mm -hmm. now. She will be there. She has, they, that family they got a bunch of nice horses too. Yeah. A bunch of good horses. Oh yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. I like that horse right Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, you know. That's a 
got some, they got so many good ones that you want to show a bunch, bunch of videos yeah. of them. But uh, I just appreciate their support. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Final answer. I sang Dixie. I like it now. Oh, yeah. I can't sing Dixie, though. <laughs> Right here. Oh, I that's knew a good it. Horse. I knew yeah. that was coming. Switchblade and Alley Joe. You knew it was just a matter of time. He's got so many good ones. Hey, he got a barn full of them, and now and got a breeding barn. Yep. And now they're trying to find a, a one that they can do barrel racing with. Young lady's going to be doing it all. I told yep. him, I said, you better watch her. He'll be, you'll be at a rodeo and she'll be out there on the bull. <laughs> <laughs> he got the whole family. I see one of mom showing now. Yes, mm -hmm. we can't leave her out. Yeah. You know. you know, she was a basketball player for the yeah. kids. Mm -hmm. But now they, that, that's a great family oh, yeah, that's for a good the horse thing. business, but really they, they really work at it and they, they they just go to it. Yeah. So, all right. And now one of my very favorite people, I love to have lunch with her, her and Jean both. They, oh yeah. Just good people, good hearted. And now you're talking about somebody that really supports the industry and cancer and been in it for a long time. Yes, she's sir. been in it for a long she's been time. In it a long time. Yes. She told a story about how she got in it one time. I thought it was great. <laughs> but I'm talking about Miss Virginia Stewart and Evergreen Walking Horse. Yes. Now there she is. She won the ladies championship, the Golden Sovereign and Virginia Stewart. Mm-hmm. I told her, I said, Virginia, we got video of you riding. <laughs> Right there, she won her world championship. Oh, she does a good job. She used to ride all the time. I'm trying to been talking back in and I was riding. And there's Dorel. Yeah. Now, that was Pro-Am horse oh, yeah. this year. Mm -hmm. They done real good with that horse. Virginia's good to the industry, yes. and she's another one that gets a lot of youth involved yeah. in her horses. I know Lane Leverett's daughter, yeah. Robbie Black's girl. Uh -huh. Now, she's shown for Virginia several times. That's right. Her brother of Vengeance. Yeah. Lynchburg Blue Ribbon Salute for Brother Vengeance and Jeff Green tonight. The entry of the Evergreen Walking Horse Farm of Shelbyville. Brother Vengeance and Jeff Green are open show budget winners. I like that horse. He's got honors to Mr. Gale. Yes, yeah, uh huh. <coughs> yeah, right here it is. Ritzy Hawkin, Emma Black. Yeah. That's a nice horse, too. Yes, it is. Real oh, nice, real nice mare. That's another thing to add to that mare yep. addition. Honors to I name it yeah. and here it comes. Mm -hmm. That's that horse there is a nice, nice, real nice. Virginia just likes to watch them. Yeah. Likes to watch them in the ring, and that that's what makes it so great. And she's another big supporter. She's always willing to chip in and, and help sponsor yeah. classes. And I mean, that's what this industry thrives on. Oh yeah. People who help. What makes the walking horse industry so great? We've got oh, yeah. people who to really get in and help, mm -hmm. want to help. Busted by Sovereign. What, hey, like that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Emma's done well. Oh yeah, Emma's done home. real well with that mare. Well, that's what it's about. Yep. Enjoy yourself and get in there with you. Title defense. 
But Jenny got a bunch of nice horses too. She oh, does. I mean, she got a bunch of yard on them. Yes. Too. And she don't want to, and she's not going to get rid of them. I seen her sell one horse I know of, and then she ended up buying it back. Yeah, she hunted it down. Yeah. <laughs> Once she got it, she brought it back. Here's an unleashed. <clears throat> I'm gonna yep. tell you, Virginia, Virginia, they broke the mold. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they did. Cause she, she's one that I know that I know. Don Collins one time bought the same horse twice. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now Virginia sold one and kept thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Found out where it was and sent him up there to go get, get it. it. Yes, yeah, right. I want it back. <laughs> so, I mean, that that's the way the walking horse industry is. You got people who really love the horse and support the horse. And those those are the people that have made the walking horse industry. Oh yeah, you were right. What it is, and and I, my, my hat goes on to all of them, and all the ones that we just shown. Next week we got some more, because uh, we we've had we've been blessed with a lot of fantastic sponsors yes. through the years, and some great horses. Oh, some real good horses, Jerry's. I mean. And I, you got a lot of people that have been in this business for a long, for a long time, you know. Yeah. And they've seen the bad, the good, back to the bad, back better. Well, I can go pull out a DVD, take it upstairs, put it in the computer, and sit there and, and watch horses all the way back to 2003. Yes. And uh, 2002. And you, you, you just say, man. And then I, I look at some video that, that I took back in 2001. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I don't know, when you when you look at the horses and how they've evolved, I guess, yes. and a lot of it has to do with the tough inspections we went yeah. through, and there for a while we quit breeding so much, yes. and people started breeding to their better mares, and really putting scientific saying well if I breed to this one what I'm going to get what am I going to get what am I going to get and we we come out on the better because you know a lot of time I wouldn't mind seeing is the ones like you say you got the videos from 2001 it's people that sh were showing there that's still showing today well you saw some of them today. yeah that's some what I'm saying there. That but that that'd be good if uh maybe whoever comes in here and and sits in this seat yeah next year we'll come up with some video because uh that that'd be a good oh, yeah. that'd be a good shoot show to do be a good thing to promote is yeah. to show especially how our horse has gone from what it was to what it is yeah, now you're exactly right there people don't realize the difference in these horses yeah but there's a major difference in them and it and it's all to the better it it just shows how great they are well next week we will have some more of the same because I've, I've got some that uh and we will have that three-year-old class because i promised i'd do it yeah. we will do it so right now we, we just go to your barn and watch you ride that'll Go's work up. come on see y'all next week see you later <laughs>